Hey, it's Wednesday night. Oh, I can't hear. In hell. There we go, sorry. That is a great song. It's a good song. Do you know who that is, <laughs> by the way? <clears throat> I'll tell you who that is. That's the Hong Kong Fuzz. They're no longer. And, and Blue Steel right over here was the drummer <laughs> until all the bitches in the band decided to split up <laughs> and they didn't need him anymore. Are they playing? And if they are, what... Uh, What's the name of their band? Because we're going to say it and we don't want people You can to tell through. the truth. He was banished. Were you banished? <laughs> why? Steve, just tell everyone why you were banished. I know why he was banished. <laughs> because he's drinking hemp milk. <laughs> Steve. Dude, that was good. Steve brought fucking hemp milk. Oh, hemp. You don't, you don't believe me. Who right. drinks this? Go get There's nothing it. Go wrong get it. with that. <laughs> Who drink? Here it is. I also doused myself with... Petrilli oil. No, you Working. did not. Yeah. It's there true, it man. That's no. true. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me get a shot. Tempt. Tempt. I liked it. Yeah, that's great. But I told you, we didn't raise you that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is not our, this is not what our people do, Max. Hey, our health expert no offense. recommended it the other night. Oh, is that why you got it, on. Steve? She mentioned it, yeah. Mm. Elise? Elise. Yeah. Oh, no? that's where we heard it. She said Yeah, that. right. She was high. <laughs> Who else would drink temp, hemp milk but people that smoke dope a lot? But this is not important, and I'm only kidding about that. What is important is our guest that's on the couch over there with Kelly. It, Ryan was here uh, Monday night. How are you, Ryan? How are you, Kelly? So, okay, so we're sharing the mic. You're going to have to actually both talk a little bit louder. I think you guys have to actually move it between the two. Come on Sit over. Closer. Come on in. Okay, no, why is move. Kelly on scared? On why is Kelly scared of Ryan? We'll remind you. You might have missed it. This is why my wife is scared of my friend Ryan. All right, this Let's is from show last this. night. This is from Monday night. Oh, Monday night. Hold on. Let's go to that shot. There we go. By the way, Ryan. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. All right, stop that. Stop that. All right, you might Kelly. not in the eye. <laughs> Kelly and I watched that like 20 times today. We could not stop laughing. Oh. Okay, now pay attention. Do it again. You have to watch Ryan's arm bump the mic, and the mic Wait, goes right sense. smack dab. And it's not this one with the fuzzy outside. It's that bulbous one with the metal mesh screen. Right into her eye plate again. All right, there we go. By the way, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> look at the, look at the, the, the two Ryan. faces. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's cool. This is probably like the 80th time I've seen him. Still, it is classic. I can't time. stop laughing. Once Let's more. Let's try and pause it right when it hits. No, no, let it go for. Uh, God. First time I ever met the guy. Not good. Are you, Not a are good you start. Okay, ready. Mm-hmm. Ryan, Kelly, Steve, go sit oh, there. Kelly will hook you up. <laughs> you don't have to jump over. Do you love people that come late to the live <laughs> I was actually hoping to see him jump over. No, oh, Jesus, it's not even close. Okay, no, it's good. You're fine. You're fine. You're Ryan. fine. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Ryan. Hi, I'm Kelly. <laughs> hold on. Let, let, let's, can we take that shot? Yeah, hold on. Let's go to that shot. There we go. Watch. By the way, Ryan. <laughs> 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 Jesus. It's shocking, it is. <laughs> the dog like, yeah. in the eye. It is. But wait, let it go for a second. Let it go for a second. Kelly wait. in the eye. Watch, watch, watch. Mike. Okay, she's going to have a this. black fucking eye. Stop right there. Stop right what there. What does he say right okay. there? What does he right say there, there, Ryan goes like this. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> we never met before, right? <laughs> Quite no. an entrance. Right. You never met before. Uh, That's fantastic. But wait a second. Look at Max's face. Everything just froze there for a second. <laughs> look at Max's face. <laughs> That's so He's like, oh funny. my God. Oh my God! All right, so now I said Ryan walked in a few minutes ago with something. Yeah, uh, not surprising. I, I actually wasn't invited tonight. I don't know why. I wasn't invited. Right, dude, it's not that you weren't invited. I just thought you know. So I um I feel very I feel very bad <laughs> about your eye. So I got you a little something. Oh, so cute. Look at the packaging, it's darling. <laughs> what is it? There's what a note. It? Dear Kelly, sorry, I was such a <laughs> Fuck face! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Here's to a razzle dazzle recovery. Nice. Ryan, and he puts it R E Y E. 
E Y E. Right, 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 like I. Ryan. Oh my God. Okay, that's hilarious. What is it? I have an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> I have some visine. <laughs> Teardrop eye sponges. Oh my! A gift certificate. Oh, an American Express card from downtown optometry. Oh, really? <laughs> and a little box of tissue. Oh, that's really. You know what? That's super. That cute. deserves a round that of applause, is super right? Cute. Yeah, nicely done. I think you should wear the eye patch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That is so cute. I honestly, I thought it was going to be cookies or something. No, that's your, that's your space. Uh, I know, it's not my space. <laughs> nice. That's cute. The Visine uh, Steve needs because he's drinking hemp milk. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that obvious? Yeah. Does that happen? Do you remember, what was that Seinfeld episode where Elaine was drinking poppy, poppy was eating seeds. poppy muffin, poppy yes. seed muffins, and she tested positive for opium. Direct test. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Remember, she was supposed to go away with... Uh, Her boss. Is with, that true? What's his name? Can you actually? I don't know I if that's so. true. Yes. But if you true. drink enough hemp milk, any chance that will show you positive for? I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. THC. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> Ask the viewers. The viewers must know. How do I look, Sam? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you look like the cutest pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, one All right. more time. All right, Ryan. That was awesome. Thank you, man. That was, that Let's was go to that shot. Good. There we go. By the way, Ryan. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Played it again. Uh -oh. <laughs> he just hit Kelly in the eye. This is straight out of America's prison. <laughs> he just hit Kelly oh, in the no. eye with the mic. Watch him lean in. Didn't have a wait, wait for the lean in. Hi, I'm Ryan. He goes, I'm Ryan. It is so good, I can't. Oh, Are you leaving? I'm out. I'm out. You're just here for that? Oh, no. See, man, that was cool of you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Ryan. Let's talk about that thing. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Later, Ryan. Hey, all right. So speaking of fuckface, and if you've forgotten, mm -hmm. I'm bringing fuckface back. <laughs> you're really, I'm trying you're really to. Sticking with this. I'm trying to. Well, <laughs> let's just check out a couple of things. Take my computer. Wait, not yet. This is how I come up now on a friend's phone. There you go. Take that. One sec. Sorry. Yep. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the. That's their. Uh, that's the uh, iPhone screen when I call her. Is that Kelly? <laughs> it's not Kelly. No, <laughs> Kelly's not down with it. All right. And now, a uh, go to Facebook. Um, let me tell you when. Mm. It was about four or five hours ago. I don't know how long this is now. Oh, that's a long time ago. I could go back pretty far. Do you? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> um. <laughs> What are you hmm. talking about? Yeah, this would be kind of... So it's a post that, that uh, somebody said, were you at Walmart today? Oh, yeah, yeah I saw that one. Go get that one. So check that one out and ch show, the, show, you know. It's offensive to me. Look at... So <laughs> look at <laughs> oh, that, I thought the guy just looked like you. I didn't even me catch too. this. I no. didn't get it either. Really okay, but wait. That shirt is not real. That is... Not you real. You think it's photoshopped? Yeah, That's there's no way. He's with a little kid. That's real. Have you it's been real? to Walmart? No. Yeah. Oh. Get, oh, yeah. Wait, we're going to find yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait yeah, a I second. I think it's real. Okay. Can you ask, ask, uh, who's, who is that? Lynn is looking it up. You, you no, what's where, the name? What's that person's name? Well, you know where that's from. No. Really? Look. North oh, here's another North. one. Here's another one. Here's another oh, one. Oh, it's like North Face. It's no, like no, North no, Face. No, but that picture is from a site called... It's a oh, what, is it a people, people at Walmart? Are, people at Walmart, yeah. People oh. at Walmart. You know that for sure? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had the little icon. Oh, it's right here. You've people seen, at Walmart. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, so I showed Kelly that, and she thought it was funny because she thought the guy kind of looked like me. And then I went, no, you're missing it. You're telling me that guy's actually shopping at Walmart with a hey fuck face shirt? I think you, so. there's a lot you worse on that site. I've seen this site. site, but he's with a little kid. You really get a good understanding of who shops at Walmart. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I used to shop gosh. at Walmart. I sometimes go in there. No, nothing. I do. Nothing against Walmart. Steve. No, 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 no. There's nothing. The oh, look at now. Jeffrey posted where to get the Hey Fuck Face T-shirt. 
Oh, yeah. oh god, oh shades god. of gray. <laughs> you can buy that? I guess you can. Course, please you can. don't buy it and uh, please. No, I'll be buying that. It. I will be buying that tonight. Nobody Somebody's gonna send, send it to it. you. No, I, I'm no. on Kelly's side. On I this know. One. I'm not gonna wear it outside of here. Really? I would not go That's to the what supermarket you say all with the time. it. Dude. I have that one sweatshirt that you don't like. It's Mom, just tell my jammies. Tell everybody about his socks the other day. Oh wait. Okay, Max. Please put the picture of that. And he was dead serious. Really? The picture. Where does that picture? Jesus. I'll email you. I got what are you email guys? to Lynn, Mom. Email to Lynn. Okay. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you people are going to die. No, I don't think they are going to They're die. They're going to die. Oh. <laughs> Dad, so, so far, I'm proud of your athletic I lives. didn't know that you could buy a, a fuckface t-shirt <laughs> uh, anywhere. So, okay, now, now, sorry, uh, these two girls, I was at DZ Aikens today. You can take my computer. Mm -hmm. I was walking past. They said hi. They were super cute. And as I started to, I said, bye-bye, see you guys. And um, they said, see you tonight at 6. Awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. And I sat down and we chatted. And the one on the left is pregnant. That's I, I don't really know cool. her name. I think she sent a Facebook picture. I can't remember. The question is, are they here? I feel bad. I feel really oh, bad. Yeah, let us know if you're out there. They're out there. So, so um, that was at DZ Aikens. You, are you guys? Uh, uh, no, there's only one DZ. Oh, so, in, college. Uh, that's right, college. Got college. Good. You been? You go? I was thinking of the yoga Jewish store. food. Yes, it's okay. good. It's good. Good. My place. people's food. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your people's food. brisket, corned beef sandwich, that mm. kind of thing. Lox and eggs, matzahs and eggs. Ted, I haven't done Ted that. Ted Leitner does amazing commercials. For oh that my place. god, it's great stuff. Do you know? I was on. What was that? Ninety? Not ninety-one X. The ninety-one X guys went to. I was on a sports uh, talk radio program one morning. 105.3. No. Oh. And Ted Leitner would, would call in. So Ted Leitner, if you're not, if you don't know, is oh, a... Uh, Billy Ray and... Yeah, Billy Ray. Yeah. Right? Those guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ted Leitner is a local San Diego sports personality. He's done tons of baseball and football. He's done everything. He's been around a long time. He's had a very, very um, successful career here in San Diego. He's but very, that very good at what he does. He's very good at what he does, which also is getting divorced apparently, because oh, yeah. there's about three or four Mrs. Yeah. Ted Jeez. Leitner's ex Mrs. Ted Leitner's out there. <laughs> uh, but so that particular day, I was on there, and some somebody brought up Ted's name. So these guys do this radio show, and then Ted, like ISDN, ISDN lines in, and he does his little sports commentary and stuff, and then. And so somebody mentioned Ted Leitner. I said, oh, by the way, I think it's time for Ted Leitner to... Uh, DZ Akins has got to, got, to, got to get a new commercial because that thing is like... They're running the same thing they've been running for 40 years. Yeah. And then he called in. He was all like butthurt by it. <laughs> that I'd made, Dude, if I'd made a commercial like 25 years ago, they're still fucking running it, I'd get the thing off the air. Right. Please. He was completely butthurt. It was really you funny. You heard Ted Leitner's feeling. What's I heard his feeling. He was pissed. Which I've heard is not hard to do either, but go ahead. No, then he, he made some comments about how well-known he is and yep. and what he's, he's really done and I've not done whatever. Yeah. Oh, he really, like... He's it was really one of those went went through through that? Wow. And I, of course, I did the stupid, you know... You're right. What would I know? I only have 14 Emmys. Oh, so Whatever, that, 12 at the line. time, whatever it is. It's that's a good line. line. But you know what? It was... I wasn't making fun of him. I was making fun of the commercials. Yeah. Oh, I know the thing that pissed him off. Here's what I said. Oh, of course. I said, he looks like someone that should be wearing glasses, but isn't for vanity's sake. Yeah. There's certain people. There's let's certain see if we people. can find a picture of then Ted Leitner without picture. glasses. I'm telling you, he looks like somebody that should have glasses he on. He really does. And I, didn't think he, I think he doesn't wear them because he doesn't like the look of himself in them, which is fine. Yeah. But I just said that. That's nothing to get butt hurt over. No, not at That's all. That's the thing that pissed him off. And then the commercial thing pissed him off too. Fuck! I gotta throw these things in the oven. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, oh, we're gonna we're gonna jump to the food part early. Oh. Because they gotta cook. I'm sorry. I didn't do you want me to run the way. intro now? I'm sorry, I didn't want to do we that. Can you talk can't talk about one of our sponsors. You can yeah. in a second. So here's what I'm thinking. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Donovan's Prime Seafood in uh, the gas lamp has an oyster bar yes and who doesn't like an oyster bar and i'll tell you the thing about an oyster bar 
you can eat a million of them and you won't get fat. <laughs> They're just oysters. I mean, and maybe if you ate a million, you would get fat. But Donovan's Prime Seafood on Fifth Avenue downtown just busted open. You know where when we shot down there, the bar that I sat at yeah. that was behind me, right. that is now an oyster bar. Oh, ah, perfect. With yeah, people, I was going to say, I don't remember right, an oyster bar. With people that. there making, uh, shucking and shelling and wow. making and saucing and they're doing hmm. salads out of there and stuff, whatever. All that stuff is happening right from there. So I was going to say, who, who's that your phone, Kelly? No, no. it's mine. <laughs> oh, Give it to me. Brutal. I want to hear that noise. Give it to me. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, it went away. Oh, it's it's off. <laughs> Sorry. What part of turn your phone on silent? There you go. Troubles with? Thanks. Anyway, uh, Don, we, it's obvious that we love Donovan's Steak and Chop House. We were there last week. All of us eating, had an amazing meal. Mm. Now Donovan's Prime Seafood has busted out a oyster bar. Time to go. And you can't. I'm saying we go tomorrow night after live cast. Anybody in? Oh, Ooh. booyah. What? Oh, why'd you do that to me? Why? Yeah. What are you doing, tall man? No, well, nothing now. I'm going to oyster bar. There you go. <laughs> I thought we'd just go down. We'd I'm chuck really. a few. We, I mean, uh, I can't chuck an oyster. We'll have them do it. Maybe have Test a out what they do. Yeah. Maybe oh. we should shh. Shh. <laughs> Maybe we should shh. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe what? we should do a shucking course on, on the live cast. <laughs> you know what? I was I, I went to an event downtown a couple of years ago called Shuck and Swallow. Oh, oh yeah. That. And it's it's restaurant teams. Two people from each team. One shucks oysters. Wait, wait. Oh. And the other one, what? Sorry, mom. I, yeah. Okay. Do you see the person who just said that they're watching from Argentina? I was going to tell Dad that. Okay. Yeah, okay, I love the Argentines. I was going I know, to, but then I want to say hi to that person. Okay. What can I do it in the kitchen? Wait. No. I. Let's. Can we go back? Look at Oral. Sorry. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fucking running this? I, know. I was going to say it, and then Steve said something about the sponsors, and I thought, oh, I'll wait till after the sponsors. We've been talking about Donovan's for 25 minutes now. <laughs> we can talk about something else, but the shuck and swallow, right? So you got two teammates from restaurants, pairs of restaurant employees. One shucks an oyster, the other one downs it. And there's a judge for each team to make sure A, the person swallows it, and then the oyster shells go into the thing. And every time they go like this, and then drop it, you count. <laughs> and I was one of the judges. Somebody there cut themselves so bad they had to go to the hospital. It's oh. not easy. It's not easy shucking uh, oysters. Get in the anyway, kitchen, shuck face. I'm a huge... <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty clever Diane thought of it I just that was it. pretty clever all right okay so here we go let's go cooking the uh, I gotta start what I'm doing you're gonna like the, oh I forgot to say this is all about it's all about Super Bowl tonight tomorrow night we'll get you prepared nice. for Sunday ready let's go all right so check what this is um, I wanted to do something tonight that was a little bit sort of traditional for like a big Super Bowl kind of game. You know what fucking pisses me off about the Super Bowl? I don't know what the rules are, but somewhere, unless you pay, you can't say Super Bowl. And that's why you see uh, TV stations and radio stations all over the country this week referring to it as the big game. Uh, There's licensing rules that we'll probably go to jail for. So say it like a hundred times. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, well, Mom apparently hates Argentinians, so I'll say it myself. Oh, yes. What's up, Pato? <laughs> Watching from Mar de Plata, Argentina. What's up, Wow. Man? So yeah, I'll say up. this again. The, the series that Steve and I shot, Just Cook This. Can you ask this question or I can ask this question? What's, the, what's their name? Pato. Pato. Do you know uh, about us because of Just Cook This? Because on Discovery Health, because I think it ran down there. Answer that question while I do this. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're doing, I'm doing a hot sweet wing thing. And it starts with these. Whoa. Oh. Frozen, frozen wings. You don't even need to defrost these. Watch how cool this is. These things are meant to be dealt with like this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them on, well I have, on this baking sheet. This live cast is going like an hour and a half for sure. No it's not, it's not, <laughs> trust yeah. me. 
And now they're going under the broiler, the top down heat. It's this far away. This far away. There's no way. Everybody call a time when you think away? the live cast is ending. I'm going Hold 7, on. 19. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15. I did need to leave early, but <laughs> I guess I'm not leaving early today. <laughs> so now I need, I need 10 minutes. All right, now we can sit down. Oh, I'm really hungry. Can I just say this morning, I was, uh, I was down 10 pounds from two weeks ago. Nice. 10 pounds. I know this shirt, I feel like it's baggy, but baggy in the way that it makes you look heavy. If it was a little more tapered at the back, I think I'd be okay with that. No, because then you look all stuffed in there. No, I'm not trying to look stuffed in. <laughs> Let's see. Like Steve used to look. All stuffed in there. Look, I just feel like this. See what I mean? I think this makes me look heavy. Uh, Take I that. think, I there think you, you need a more fitted Sam, shirt, Sam. it doesn't make you look heavy. Slightly more. Watch, if I just did this. You are a girl, I swear. Sam, no, you, need, not. you need a more fitted shirt, man. Look, I'm a huge, look at, see, even that's better. Well, just get a, a little bit more. Pins. You'll be like a mannequin. Yeah. I'm not getting close. That's what they do with a mannequin. They put a clothespin in the back. Can I, I tell you, I'm a huge Howard Stern fan. I listen almost nonstop to Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. So he's getting ready to uh, become a judge on America's Got Talent. So bizarre. Do you I, think so? I don't, I don't know that it is. I think I, so. I think they needed to do something to shake it up a little bit. And I think people will be surprised by how professional Howard Stern is. I think people are expecting to come out there and say, shit, piss, fuck, and, you know, tits and dirty girls kind of thing. And he's not going to do that. Doesn't matter now that I've said all those terrible words. But, <laughs> uh, but he was talking today about the clothes, and he wear, do you know John Varvatos? Yeah. He will wear that exclusively, I believe, on uh, America's Got Talent. Really? Oh, he's he's probably huge, sponsored. He's a huge fan. He's a huge fan of it. No, he used to get stuff there anyways. Oh. But now that's, now that's what he's doing. And it's funny, he talks in such detail about these little, little tiny things that are getting him ready for the show and stuff. Okay, check this out uh, while we're waiting. So I got 10 minutes for that. Uh, do you know who Ann Burrell is? Yeah, yes. Free Network. The blonde, right? Yeah, she has a show called um, uh, Restaurant Secrets. What's it called? Uh, secrets of a secrets of a restaurant chef. Secrets of a restaurant chef. There she is, Anne Burrell. She used the term. My nephew Mark sent me this today. You know what EVOO is? Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, and how annoying it is that Rachel Ray. <laughs> Anne Burrell just dropped this term on her show. Mm. B T B. Butter. Any, anyone who guess? Anybody want to guess? Uh, business to business. No. I don't know, actually. Is it food related? Yep, it, it is. Totally. Go ahead, Kelly. You look like you're about to say it. No, no, no. I'm like... You were mouthing like... that you had your mouth formed in the right way. BTB, bring to boil. Oh, gosh. Please. You need an acronym for that? Please. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. That was four at least. This is only three. Bring to boil. She must bring a lot of things to boil. Just saying. That's effed up, man. Oh, Pato. Pato. Found you on TV one night yep. on an HD channel and never more found you on TV. I don't know why, oh. so I looked for you on Google and Facebook, and now I am. Wow. I like how you cook. Did you taste Ar Argentinian food? Wow. No, but we will send Pato That's cool. something. Please send Pato we'll something. Send him the series. The that DVD is. Series. Oh, can I just say that that's means. a very expensive package. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. Argentina. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Sorry, Pato. You get Pato. You can watch DVD. You can watch the videos on the website. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, but he can't. We can't send him DVDs to watch down there. Right, because they won't. Oh, they won't play. Region, yeah. What is, region is it are a they? Different region. I don't I know. I think it's a different region. Can somebody check for us? But most DVD players now can play in multiple regions. You players. know that? I'm pretty sure. I like, don't know. I have no well, idea. Well, Pato, do this. Uh, info at thelivecast.com. Send us an address, and we will send you something. Uh, Promise. Let's make that right, though. Info at... 
The Sam live the cast. Sam live the Sam live cast. cast. What are you saying? I actually have a contest going I'll, on. I'll post it on right now. Facebook. You have a contest going on? Whoa, mom. Right are you running what long, do you mean, unauthorized a side contest? contest? <laughs> are you I running have... unauthorized side contests? I have. <laughs> Apparently, she has her own show going on over there. <laughs> I have people posting times when they think the live cast is going to end. <laughs> oh, oh this will be good. I said the closest yeah, 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 yeah. time gets tickets. The closest time gets tickets to Uh oh, Sam's live. getting a bit metrosexual. All right, that's good. Or a t shirt, because if you don't live here. No, no, no. Can I just clear this up? I'm not getting a bit metrosexual. I, I am, am a bit metrosexual. metrosexual. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Oh, wow. Your son knows you a little well, there, okay. doesn't he? All right, Max, uh, <laughs> if you know the answers to this, I don't want you to pipe up. This is mostly for the viewing audience. Okay. But according to a 60 Minutes Vanity Fair poll, <clears throat> this is so, I find this so funny. Keep going. 20%. Of the people polled, thought that Mitt Romney was his real first name, Mitt, hmm. which I don't think is that crazy. Right. Right. Eighteen percent thought his real name was Mitchell, which you can see how that can happen. Yeah. yeah right. Mitt, uh -huh. Mitchell. Mitchell. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Eight percent thought it was Milton. What? Okay. I guess you could maybe see Milt, Milton, Mitt. I, I mean, okay. right? Yeah. Only 6% got his first name correct. Do you know what it is, Max? Don't say if you do. I do, but I'm not going to say Anybody else? I've heard it. I can't remember it. I just Willard. Listened. That's right. <laughs> no wonder he goes by Mitt, which, Willard. by the way, is his middle name. Uh, yeah, it's Willard Mitt. Robert. But the most important Mitt stat Wally. from the survey is that somehow, in some way, 2% of real life... <laughs> Adult voting Americans believe that his real name was Mittens. What? <laughs> <laughs> mittens. Uh, uh, mittens Romney. I guess I would shorten my name too. Mittens. mittens. That's cute. He Somebody's got to name their child Mittens. That's and then call him Mitt. That's a <laughs> great name. If his name was Mittens. He would not have all that money. <laughs> <laughs> mittens oh, and I, buttons. All right. You can't smell what I'm smelling, but I'm smelling chicken that is potentially burning. Oh, wow. Now remember, I have this under the broiler. You are such a liar right now. Okay, check it out. Ooh. Oh, I'll bring it to Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve. Stay, stay where you are, dude. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. Okay, but it's not done. No. Oh, really? No, it's not done on this <laughs> side. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was getting hot like chicken juice. <laughs> That's bad. I'm probably ruining my counter right now. For sure you are. Uh-oh, that was scary. What did I say? I said 10 minutes. I think so his name is Mittered. There's three minutes left. There's three minutes left. <laughs> his name is actually Mittered. It's Willard. <laughs> Mittens. Uh, it was Kelly's birthday on Sunday. Saturday night, we went out with our friends. We went to a restaurant we hadn't been to in uh, Little Italy. Oh. Funny enough, it was an Italian restaurant. Devante, have you been? Yes. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, so far I've, I've liked... Uh, How many times have you been? Two of the three times I liked it. Well, you, you live right there. Yeah. So it's walking distance for you. Right. Right. Which I'm... That's why I'm surprised you guys didn't even call her. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. My phone was probably dead. You're so urban, Steve. You're too cool. We, we can't hang there. out with you. It's right where we live. Yeah. <laughs> we live in the heart of the anyway. city. Anyway. Remind me never to tell Steve I'm in Little Italy. I can't get over. <laughs> I just can't get over Mittens Romney. <laughs> think that's so funny. Wait, wait so you wait. Hold it? on. Oh, so we sorry, go. We right. So we go, and it's packed, and we have to wait. What? Forty minutes or half an hour? It wasn't that long, actually. Half hour, maybe. We sit at the bar. We have cocktails. We go to our table, and um, we all order. Everything's fine. We order some appetizers. Now here's the thing, Here, this part pissed me off a little bit, really pissed off Kelly. Every appetizer that came, that we ordered, came in a, in a cool little like glass, short mason jar thing, yep. on a giant fucking block of wood, uh -huh. that by the time we had three or four of them on the table, didn't fit. <laughs> Why do they need that huge wooden cutting board thing underneath them? and? All three of them that we ordered came with like grilled bread. Oh. Wait, grilled? We had like two loaves, like two Texas, whole loaves of bread. Texas toast, man. It was like man. Texas toast. Nice. Wow. Thick Wait, I Lynn. love Lynn it. Go, no, Lynn mm. goes nice, but it was... Too much. Too how, much. About, how about varying what the... <laughs> 
what the item is that you're going to scoop or dip or right. whatever put in. They all didn't need to come with the same bread. That was way too much. Same bread and same board. Same bread, same board. But Kelly's real complaint was these boards were big and stupid with a big giant handle that now we're having to fight space on the table <laughs> to make a... You got to think that stuff through. There was four of us at not that big a table. Right. She didn't like that. Did they bring the drink menu over? No. No. Oh, that's kind of big and obnoxious. That's too. weird. We big? didn't even get. They didn't even. You know what? That. Here's the weird. thing. It's it is a chain. I know that. It is. It doesn't feel like one. Oh. But one little Chicago. details like that, like a drink menu thing, that would make me start to feel like something was going on. I did not know that. Steve, they're opening right here at the high. Where Up at the Highlands, where the good movie the theaters. Really? Like, like a yeah. month. Oh. Two. But wait. But here's the thing that really pissed me off. So they they we all order our separate dinners. I ordered the Branzino a fish because I'm trying to eat better. Kelly ordered a pizza because she's trying to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember what Bruno and Joe had. What the... Um, go ahead. Keep it going. doesn't matter. So remember. four things, right? They bring the very first thing. Not mine. They set it down. As they set it down, the waiter looks at me and he goes, sorry, server. The server looks at me and he goes, oh, I'm sorry. We're out of their fish. What? Yeah, it was Thank so true. That was the reaction that I wanted. <gasps> what? Are you serious? Yeah. What kind of place does that? They didn't know till then. Oh, by the way, tell the guy at table 14, we don't have any more Branzino. That's a joke. That's that was bad. a joke. That would piss me off. It was terrible. Off. So Jill had her entree and we sat 20 minutes at the table and the only entree there was hers. Nobody what? else. Including no. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. I, I, to, to be fair, I think 20 minutes is a little long, but it was... And then I had to repick something else. Jeez. On the it plus side, on the plus side, <laughs> I picked octopus that was very good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Their uh, ris risotto yeah. is amazing. Do they make it in the oven like I did on Monday night? I think so. And then I they come out that. and pour it onto a board. It's kind of funny. Another <laughs> board. <laughs> and then they put uh, whatever topping of the day is. Oh, so, like oh. mushrooms or... Yeah. yeah, like when we were there, they, it was like a pork... Uh, Dish. I, I gotta yeah. flip the I gotta flip this chicken. Hang on. Flip I just thought of something. You're gonna make that chicken be done on time for love and her money. No, so I'm not eating I'm raw telling, chicken. I'm telling you guys right now, salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so come check. I'm eating it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's two things that have to happen at this point. Oh, you're not even getting it. Yeah, pull it over. For, oh, it's not, I, I, no, no, no. I can. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Why? Right no, there. no, no, no. Leave. Why should we? Why bother? What are Just you allow me, about? allow me to come to you. You gotta give me some warning here. I said I'm gonna go over and do this. Okay, you see this? Is that the other no. side? No, there you go. So chicken wings cooked only on one side, but the color is nice. That's what you want. But do you see down in this corner? You see this liquid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't need that anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the liquid off. And these things are kind of mostly stuck in place. So I'm gonna try and pour the liquid off before I move them so they don't come flying out. See that? I'm so hungry right now. Don't you worry. It's going to get so, so much better, dude. So all we've done, right, is we've cooked frozen little wings on one side. Now we just flip everything over. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And then after this, we're talking about uh, Super Bowl food. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah. Well, this I was reminded of this story, um, about when we were talking about Mitt Romney. Okay, hold on one sec. So now I'm just gonna throw these back in the oven. That's obvious, right? Now, if you saw them again, if Steve worked on the camera, whatever. <laughs> look, now they're all blonde here, again. Here, show me here. Dad, here. Yeah. Now they're all like ugly blonde again, right? Because the color is on that side. Now we flip them over. You can do this. The beautiful part of this recipe, I think, is that you do not have to defrost them. These things uh, defrost, these things cook perfectly by themselves from frozen inside the, in the oven. All right. Done. There we go. Have you heard, about, heard the story about Mitt Romney's dog when they went yeah. on a family vacation? Uh, yeah, remind me. They had a huge dog, a big uh, Irish setter named Seamus, their family. It was the family dog. Mm -hmm. They were going on a road trip from Massachusetts to Canada. Yep. Seamus. And they strapped 
Seamus, sorry, they strapped the dog in its kennel oh, yeah. on top of the roof for five hours on the road oh. in the freezing cold. No. The dog shat itself up there. The kids in the car, this is like in a, in a what? story. The kids were freaking out while the shit was coming down the back of the window. <laughs> and then listen, and then the story was that, the, oh, the dog was fine. It was not a big deal. We did that with him all the time. But apparently it just came out that when they got there, the dog ran away. Oh, I, I would run away. How how does a story like that get out? By the I way, know. this is not him no sitting idea. down for your porter telling I, that story. No, the, it's his kids. They told the story. I, I want to make sure that people understand. This is not a political. No, no, it has show. nothing to do with we, politics. We're not, it's not about this politics. About, oh, it's go to the, um dogs, dogsagainstmitt.com or something. Oh, <laughs> I swear God. to God. It's dogs like, against. <laughs> that's so dogs funny. Dogs against Romney. Look Meanwhile, at there's awesome. our two dogs, Steve. Oh God, how much warning? <laughs> you, you should see. You should have seen the face I just got. And I just got posted the link, Mac. His face. Oh, he okay. just called me fuckface with his eyes. <laughs> Which, do, by the I way, do it all the time. I'm trying to bring the fuckface term back, and not necessarily in a derogatory term. <laughs> Steve's got the dogs. Guys, <laughs> there you, you go. Kelly. There you go. Look at Haley's having a dream with the one oh, arm going. Flinch. And Lucky is. In a is that his face or his ass? <laughs> I don't know. Right. But look at this. Mitt Romney admits family dog rode on the roof of his car for 12-hour <laughs> road trip. It was 12 hours? 12 hours. I thought it was five. Jeez. Wow. I don't want to be in a car for 12 hours, let alone on the roof of it. All right. So here's what I thought we would do. Uh, Super Bowl's coming up. Sorry. The big game is coming up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are probably going to make the same thing they make every year. And I don't know what that is, and it may be amazing. I know what it is. But here, what is it? This. Yeah, look at that. Everybody makes what that every is year. What is that? That's Everybody a football stadium that's made with <laughs> sandwiches <laughs> and snacks. Snack Stadium. That's At somebody's amazing. personal home? As amazing. <laughs> I don't know. It's called Snack Stadium. I just found it before. That's you know what? Cute. I somebody showed me a couple of those pictures today. What a big but, waste of time. But Anna, you're gonna you make you're, oh, look, smoke. Look at the look at the meat and the cheese around whoa, whoa, the thing. I got smoke. I got smoke. Never mind. Never mind. Never the mind. The perimeter meats and cheeses. Uh -oh, Careful, look Sam. Oh, oh God. That's not good. This is. Should I bring my camera out? No. Nope. The fire truck is gonna come again. Never mind. Just keep it <laughs> again. <laughs> so oh, my God. Here's oh, where'd you just run away, just open that door. Hold on. Allow me. I'm just going to open the front door a little <laughs> bit. They're going to be worth it. I'm telling you. Terry has a stadium-shaped cake pan. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. Is. That's cute. All right. Wow. It is actually pretty smoky in here. I smell it. But <laughs> I would like to give you some options for what you should make. And the reality is after 100 shows, 101, 102 shows, we've covered a lot of them. So I thought we could go through some of the pictures. We could talk about what these things are. We could get excited about what they're. Oh my face. Okay, so the salt and pepper shrimp. Look, this thing makes in about five minutes, start to finish. Shrimp, talk, okay, sir, whoa, whoa, sir, whoa, sir, whoa. Sir, easy, like easy, fella, thing. easy, easy, easy. Let me, let me try to pause it. You want both of you, Dad? You next to it, or do you just want the pictures? Well, gosh, no, no, whatever. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> we're all confused. Oh, so my. Lynn. Can't talk that fast. You're the worst. So let me, you know, let me do this a different way. I thought we talked this through, Lynn. Anyway, the salt and pepper shrimp. I didn't know you're going to talk so long about it. Shrimp stir-fried with ginger, garlic, green onions, lots of salt, lots of pepper. That's it. And you keep the shells on. You peel them. It takes a little longer. It's kind of an exciting thing, fun thing to do. It's better than those, it's way better than those shitty little pink fucking things that you're going to find oh. in the supermarket now this week in this circle pack of pre-boiled shrimp with some weak-ass tartar, sorry, weak-ass oh, cocktail yeah. sauce in the middle. Those don't, don't do deserve. that. You know what? Do that for a happy hour at Donovan's Oyster Bar one night. Yeah. Oh, that would be a good thing yeah. to do. Oh, yeah. Whoa, quick. Wait, People like Kelly. that. She looks like she's in a rock video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, the smoke? <laughs> no, the smoke. <laughs> the steam. Wow, shit. The smoke's going to be a problem. All right, keep going, man. I'll tell you what. Nope. Nope. <laughs> that was good, though. Nope. The egg thing. Ovaries, eggs. Nope. The Benedict. Crab Benedict. Delicious. Not mm. for Super Bowl. Though you could do it. Nope. No, mango salsa, don't really need it for anything. Nope. Yeah, that'd be a good. You one. could do little, little tuna tacos. For chips and dip. Yeah. Mm. Tortilla soup. Ooh, Tortilla nice. soup could work. That's really good. And you know what? Too. Those 
thin little crispy things are top are flour tortillas I just cut super thin and put in a nonstick pan on the heat until they got crispy. Mm. It's just red salsa and chicken broth is pretty much what that is. And I've got chicken in there and then some cilantro on top of it. Nice. That could be great. The jambalaya, oh, rice cooker yeah. jambalaya, that will feed a crowd of people. Yeah. And, and, and you could easy. make that. Pot. What time is the game on uh, Sunday? Three? Something yeah, like three. that. Yeah, it's three. Which, you could which game? It's a big game. <laughs> oh. You could put you game? could put okay. that on on this on uh, in your rice cooker at noon, and have it at five, and not have to worry about it. It's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. Brats. Oh, brats. There you go. One pot brats in a pot with the peppers and the beer. Those are super good. Yeah, that's. The and there they are, cut open, looking fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. Fish tacos. Fish stick tacos. Okay, so check this out. See this? Hold on. Follow me here. One second. Oh, boy. Never mind. <laughs> he goes, oh, boy. <laughs> I'll bring it. Oh, the smoke. Oh, my God. I got four minutes left. I got trouble. These are cocktail size corn tortillas. They're called uh, oh, minis. Where'd you get those? I buy these at Restaurant Depot, but there's a few little... Uh, like Mexican um, Tortillerias shops that, that make small ones. Porky Land. Okay. Porky, Porky Land makes them, them, right. Porky, Porky Land hells them for the their own. You can also had. buy them there. I think they sell them there. Anyway, I made, Zach, six of these last night. Go back to the picture. Six. Um, that's a big corn tortilla. So this thing I have in front of me is half that size. Six of them with the cabbage and the little white sauce mix and one fish stick in each one. He ate six of them in about three minutes last night. Wow. At 10.30. That That's what it is when you're 17. Pretty bad. Right? Yeah. Okay. Next. Mac. Oh. The mac and blue cheese with sautéed red onions in them and I'm bacon. So oh, hungry. my that God. That would be nice. That would be a really Ew. nice. That, <laughs> this is a be great. That would too. not be a fun thing to have. <laughs> Just throw, Lucky, but, look at you know Lucky, Lucky's barking at the Marmite. Oh, <laughs> my I would just God. throw that out on the table. Just and see if somebody takes it? Yeah, just throw it out there. The, right, got, next, I, right next I got to the check chips. the chicken. Hold on. You do it. I got to check the chicken. Seriously, so the weird. smoke in here? Yeah, the smoke. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. The front oh, door is still open, too. Wow. I need to get a shot okay. of that. That's amazing. We're ready. These guys are ready. Okay, hey, Max, do you mind cutting to the other camera yeah. for a second? Okay. Do you want to see how they look now on this side? So Wait, I, I don't want you. What camera are we going to? Just stay over Main? there, buddy. Just stay done. Yeah. Good boy. All right. Okay. So you see what's going on down here? You see this color? All of this? This is this is what you want. Yeah, they look beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. So now I got to start my sauce. So now I'm just going to turn the oven off, and I'm just going to hold them in there so they stay uh, hot and warm because I don't want these guys cooling off too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, where do you get these, where do you get these things going? The only problem I think tonight is I didn't maybe make enough. Okay. So they stay in there warm and now we start this. Wait. And this happens pretty quick, yes? Can I show you my number one Super Bowl dish? Yes. Sweet potato bar. Oh, really? How good would that be, no? Yeah, no, Sam, look. That looks like your bar. No I, I, no, I think it I would think be that's good. that's a great, that's, great I, sorry, Max. It's actually a really good idea. No, you're, Max, idea. you know what, you're right. Why were you hesitant? I don't know why I was. Because he hates you, Max. Don't I know. You know no, that? I don't hate him. No, it's no, so please. obvious. God, I'm so hated. No, do you know that's how often... That's a great idea. Do you have any idea how often we have the whole conversation hear about what people think I treat Max badly and, <laughs> and no. me that you're mean to Max <laughs> and I'm mean me to everybody yeah. and I'm not this is what happens when you work with family <laughs> all right so a chunk of butter right we're gonna start melting in this little pot and I'm just gonna bust it up so it melts faster Okay, there we go. Someone says that the marmite, marmite would make a good big game bet for the loser to eat. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny, right? You can only have a very small taste of that. Oh, I, I neglected marmite, to tell these guys that you're only supposed to spread a very, very thin layer on there. 
That freaking marmite. <laughs> I, I think it's a, you got to grow up with that shit. Or you're, not, exactly. you're just not going to like it. You mentioned Porky Land, and now I can't get it out of my head. Porky Land, a local uh, Mexican food place in San Diego that we dig. Honey, and something from behind Steve. Don't worry, dude, I'll come back. <laughs> That door sounds like it needs some WD-40. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm using Frank's Red Hot. This is, uh, this is the way to do this. I'm not making buffalo wings, but I'm making wings that are going to be super good. Mm. Frank's is classic for wings. Right. right so over down? here, Stephen? Stephen? Steven? We're going to give the butter... Okay, that's bullshit. What? No. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Franks? Wow. Okay, but so the Franks gives it some, some nice general sort of mid-level heat. We're going to add a little cayenne to elevate that a bit. And, you know, you can't go too crazy with the cayenne because you'll be really sorry that you did. And now... Some honey. Remember I said spicy sweet or sweet hot, so. Wow. I know it looks like a lot. No, but really when, you, great. when you do it like that this. That looks so cool. Is that a cool shot? Uh -huh. yeah, when you do it like this, it's, it's not quite as much as, it looks like a lot more is coming out than it is. All right. That's what she said. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that was really good. Ew. Max earmuffs. <laughs> that was really, really Ew. effing I gross, take that man. back, okay? I take that back. John Erickson wants a tour of the pantry one night. We did it, but we'll oh, do did it, it again. Oh, we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. The pantry's always changing. Right. That's cool. It is always changing. Okay, so I'm almost done here, right? This is all this is meant to be. It doesn't need too much more than that. I have to taste it to make sure that it's right. I keep hearing somebody Oop. yawn. Who is it? Wow, it's really good. Okay, now it just needs to be hot. So what flavor would you say is the most overpowering in there? I just got, in this order, I got um, honey, and then the franks, and then a little bit of cayenne at the end. Mm. I could almost put a little bit more cayenne in. Should I? A little bit more? A tiny bit more cayenne. Yeah, look, you got to make it... I don't know what the recipe on the website is, but make it to the way you're comfortable with it. You want more sweet, put more sweet. You want more hot, put more hot. I found some very interesting foods while I was looking around for Super Bowl oh items, God, I bet you dishes. Did. Yeah, what'd you find? Well, that snack stadium. Yes. There's this thing called a bacon explosion. Oh. Oh. This is one stage of it. This oh. is another stage of it. Oh, and then it all gets rolled up into this. Oh, okay, see, that just <laughs> see, makes me ill. Like that makes no, me No, I think we should make it on the live cast. No. That would be what? insane. Let's just make it for fun. Oh, and then this I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> I'm just cute. curious. Okay, pizza, I'm down with that. What? Oh, wow. that's melted cheese right there? That's yeah. really cute. Hey, you're not red tonight. You should see Lucky tonight. Thanks a lot. Just a little you bit. Might of be now. That water. It's all about the water. Kathy writes. I watched the show the other night and I counted eight bottles of Cholula in the pantry. My kind of pantry. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. We're not doing the pantry tonight, but let's see how well her count was. She's a little One, two, low. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh. no, nope, weren't there. And, then, and there's a reason for that. And when we do pantry night uh, next week, I'll we'll send do pantry one. night. Oh. Wow, look at you in your contest. I know, Mom. Okay, we're done. Uh, but we're not uh, done. You can't count us out yet because, because uh, we're not officially finished yet. But. As and long then, as she doesn't live in Argentina. <laughs> okay, so now we take the wings, right? 
and you put a few of them in here, simple like this, and then watch yourself there, Stephen. Then a big spoonful of this sauce. Mm. And now this is just meant to toss, right? Oh God, they look really good. Dad, would they get? Would it? You get know, the funny bigger? thing is, we're not finished yet, Kel. When we eat, then we're finished. The funny thing is that Kelly dogs my food a lot of the time, and every so often. I'll make something and she'll go, wow, that looks really good. Why don't you uh, make that more often? I go, I make it all the time. And you completely fucking make fun of me for it. Look at that. That's because you're a buffet. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right? That you can do. You saw how we made them. It took, no, I started these things a half an hour ago from completely raw, frozen chicken wings. And now it's just about eating. You want me to eat one? I'll eat one. Fine. Fine, if I'm supposed to. Mm. Can you hear that? Yes, the crunch. It's crispy. Crunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. not, not deep fried, but really delicious. You're left with a little sweet on your lips. That's for sure. I'm scrolling back to see who mm -hmm. won. 651. Hey, Allison uh, Lynch wow. says she has some hot sauce from Belize for us. Wow. Okay. I want you to make these. I want to eat those. Did we, um, <laughs> did we do the um, smoked salmon deviled eggs on the live cast? Ooh, Not I think I was here. we did. Should I do? We did? I believe Lynch? so, but. We did, did lox night or smoked salmon night. Those would be a great thing to have. Okay, so we're gonna do more of this tomorrow night. By the way, you can call time right now on whoever. I uh, did, you know what, it was actually 6.51. And yep. so far the closest time was 7.06. Was See, you led everybody to believe that I was a douche and I, I wasn't gonna know. get anywhere near oh, the Oh, John Erickson, 7.05. John Erickson, lucky Okay, winner. you gotta take a look. All right, that's all for me. Super Bowl is coming up, or the big game, whatever you wanna call it. Make something different. I mean, make what you normally make, but it's fun to add some stuff. Your guests will appreciate a little bit of a lot of things rather than a lot of one thing. Even if you make the best ribs in the world, giving your guests only your ribs, even if they have so much they could explode, that's not a fun way to celebrate a big important sporting event or anything for that matter. Make a bunch of things, a little bit of a bunch of things is fun. The potato soup, oh, we didn't talk about that. We haven't done that. That thing is fantastic for this kind of thing. Anyway, more of this tomorrow night. Thanks for being here. Tell your friends. Uh, anything else? Nope. Come to Sam nope. Live. Come to Sam Live on um, February 18th. Me on stage. Dogs in person. Dogs in person. Having fun. February 10th is a Friday. It's one week uh, this Friday. I'll be at Fixtures Living in San Diego. Uh, they're having their annual blood drive. And the food that day will be courtesy of Bridget Boucher, uh, their executive chef, and me. We're cooking together. We haven't decided what to do yet, but we are cooking together. I want to stir fry something. I feel like doing that, but, but we'll find out. The food, that day, uh, the, the, the blood drive bus will be at Fixtures Living in San Diego and Dowdy Street from 10 to 3. Fixtures Living food will be from 12.30 to 2.30. It'll be lots of fun. I'll be there hanging out, having fun. Come down, eat something. We'll hang together. We'll talk. We'll talk food. We'll talk $6,500 toilets and Japanese soaking tubs. I want one so damn bad. All right. From me and Steve's hemp milk, <laughs> thanks for being here. See you tomorrow night. <laughs>